Hi, welcome back. So this time we're going to try and build our login component and you have to do a git checkout uh, tag version 0.10 if you want to get to the code I have before I make these changes that I'm going to show you now. So um, first of all, I'm kind of uh, into material still like I already talked about. So I want to also be able to do layout in material. So I want to be able to use things like flex layout, flex fill, um, different layout types here to make my application shine and we're going to install the flex layout now uh, again I know I'm, I'm kind of jumping in different areas here but I just want you guys to start building this application as I would from the beginning and the first time is always complex there's many things going on and uh, don't worry I will go back later and make simple components where all of this is installed but you have to understand where it's coming from before you can just get it in there and a lot of this is actually hard work figuring out how these things work right now because everything is still in beta versions or zero point something weird. So you have to read a lot of documentation and I'm just going to give you that so you don't have to waste your time there at least. But what are we going to end up with here? We're going to end up with something looking like this. A simple sign-in screen that we can then go back to our overview and then back to the sign-in here. So that's the goal of it. And the sign-in screen is of course using our uh, material setup. I have a lost password, I have a sign-in, nothing assigned for this yet so we'll work with that later but this is the goal of it but step one to get there I want to be able to now start working with a layout now notice I've laid this out in the center I've even made it um, specifically in the sense of vertically as well so you have to learn how to do this and let's start out with installing the flex layout now the flex layout makes it you capable of making layouts that looks something like this where you can really start controlling your layout using these different specific calls here, uh, flex layout row, flex layout column, different sizes. If you know Bootstrap, this is kind of another way to make responsive design. And here's some examples on how the flex layout can, you can just very simply design how your app should look. So that's what we're going to use. To install the flex layout, we're going to do the following. We are going to go in here and um, run a very simple installation here called npm install angular flex layout like this so i'm going to copy this go back to my code and then i'm just going to run the installation uh, by pasting this in here in the bottom so paste week i don't know why i didn't get that let me just try again copy my code paste it in here and just remember the dash save means you want to store it inside the package json file so let's just go into that one while we wait so now there's also a new angular um, in here there's a new angular setup let's see if we can find it flex layout angular flex layout I don't see it I don't see it that's bad ah, that's bad Angular. there it is flex layout and now again it's in beta so every t everything is in beta so now that is installed we have that available now that means of course the font awesome folder uh, that sorry the node modules have been updated with this new flex layout folder so now we can use it there's one more thing we need to do, like always, when we work with the Flex, or any new module, we need to import it. So you need to run this import right here, this guy right here. And uh, you need to copy that inside your app module TS file over here. Okay, this is explained on the page, of course. So I need to copy that in here, paste it in, and then I have the Flex module. Now, the last thing you, last thing you need to do is, of course, add the module down here and imports in the app module as well. And you shouldn't do for root like they are actually explaining because that is deprecated. Just to show you, this is how they explain you should do it. Just undo that by saying for root like this, but actually right away you'll see that it's deprecated so you don't need it. So I'll just remove it again and just keep the flex module here as my layout. That's all you have to do and now it actually should be available. But to make this flex layout really shine, I want to do two more things. One, I want to go to the style CSS and then I want to add a min height of 100 VV here and a height of 100 VH. So that's a viewport height we're setting to a max height and a max uh, minimum height for the HTML itself. Um, and then you also need to set the positioning here. You need to set the body for absolute positioning, top, bottom, and right and left like this. So we are actually placing, we are grabbing the body and the HTML is grabbing all of the available space. If you put in percentage here like 100%, this was some of the research I did, you'll actually end up having a small scroll bar all the time. Let me just show you. 
So you'll notice here I have a small scroll by the side. So to avoid that, you have to instead add the vertical height, uh, 100 vertical height here, like this to view the view, right? So that's all I did for this lesson. That's to get um, this layout up and running using the Angular Flex layout. Next, we'll use it and we'll finish up the uh, login view. See you in the next lesson.